I'm gonna make you guys a video just to kind of show you. I replaced our uh, fan motor here. We're using our temporary fan until I could get one. And replaced it with a generic motor. It's from Fasco. Some specifics on it. So uh, basically this saved a couple hundred dollars being able to use this uh, generic one instead of the one that came with it. But when you buy this, it's kind of a multi-use uh, motor. So uh, it does a lot more than just what the one that was in it. You have different speeds, different directions, a lot of other different options. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of cables you don't even have to have that's on it. So up here, you can see on this, it shows our capacitor rating on the other side over here. I'm trying to get to where you can see it. But basically, this one uses a capacitor that's five that goes to it. So when they sold it to me, they sold me a single capacitor. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off to this while it's off. Or I can show you guys this. But it was basically, uh, they wanted you to install a single capacitor to where you could use the new run motor. So I just took the four bolts off, changed out the motor, put the blade from the existing motor onto this one. But it had a lot of extra cables. So the first cables, these guys here, only time you'll ever use these is if you have to change the direction of the blade. So it was already turning the direction that I needed it to, so that was fine. There was a drain plug on the other side that I took off to where the water could come out and then ran it through the conduit going across to our power here. So let me light up the power, switch hands here. And where we went into the power here, you can see on our contact, there's a white and there is a, br a black. So I'm gonna get the uh, proper spade connectors to go into it, but temporarily for tonight, just going for that. So the white and the black can be interchanged on the contact, it's just doing the positive voltage for it. And then there were two browns. One was pure brown and one you can see here was brown and white. The brown and white I just capped off, uh, crimped a connector on it and taped the fire out of it because it's not necessary. The one that's solid brown, you can see I've got running over here to the original capacitor down at the bottom, and it's going to be hooked up to where it says fan. So basically, that's the only cables you have to use, is that white, black, and then the brown. The uh, ground, if you want to ground it for extra security, you can, but on this one, it's already grounded to the assembly here. But that was it, to switch it out. Uh, didn't have to use all the cables that were coming off of it, and made it a little bit easier to install. But again, that's just the white and the black one come off the contacts. And then the brown that is pure brown comes off your capacitor. That's really it. You just need the three cables. So I hope this will help some people.